Welcome everyone to our next lesson in the Red Strike Train Up Sessions. I'm Eve, the designer of Red Strike, and in this video we will be covering Combat Air Patrol CAP on the operational map. The general purpose of CAP is to protect a specific area or asset from hostile forces. CAP is a very specific type of interception mission. It differs from a normal interception because, although it reduces the range at which an air unit can intercept and how many units can intercept, it is still able to respond more effectively to enemy air or naval threats. Let me introduce for the operational map to the term Area of Operations, AO. During the unit assignment phase, a player may assign eligible air units from an airbase or an aircraft carrier on a CAP mission by placing it, without tracing a flight path, in any hex, called its AO hex, on the opt map. This AO hex must be outside the range of any operational enemy ADN installations, even if only partially operational, and within 10 hexes of the aircraft carrier or airbase it originated from. This can be the hex containing the aircraft carrier or airbase. The air unit cannot have any hits on it. During the unit assignment phase, it does not lose the ability to the cap if it gains hits during the game turn and stays in its AO hex. Each air unit assigned to perform a CAP mission from an AO hex originating from an airbase costs 9 supply points for the Warsaw Pact and 6 supply points for NATO. This is a one-off payment for the game turn and is paid upon a pi assignment. No supply point cost for CAP from carriers. A maximum of 5 NATO and 3 Warsaw Pact air units may be assigned to CAP missions from AO hexes originating at airbases. Each carrier may initiate one CAP. Some rules, no more than one unit may be in each AO hex. CAP mission air units may move out of their AO hex and intercept any detected enemy air unit, but the distance may not exceed 4 hexes, counted from the AO hex. Move units as during air-air interception. So how does this work in real life? Well, during the unit assignment phase, both players may place CAP markers on their map, they may not be placed in the range of any enemy air defense network installation. So if, for example, here would be an enemy ADN installation with a range of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this marker could not be put there, but possibly there. Now each cap marker also needs an air unit attached to it. The air unit may come from any airbase or carrier not more than 10 hexes away. With this we will use this one, as it is undetected, we we'll put them underneath. The enemy player may not inspect these, as they are undetected. Once they are detected, they will stay detected for the rest of the game turn. So these air units are considered patrolling this AO hexes. Enemy air units that are detected may now be intercepted in a range of 4 hexes. So while this unit is detected, it cannot be intercepted because it's not in the range of 4 hexes. Well, when it is now moving the next hex, now it can be intercepted by these units. The F-15A will now be placed on it and it will be an air-to-air -air combat. If the F-15 would take a hit in this air combat, it's not going to abort its mission as, and return to its airbase, as would be done in all other air, air combat, but air units on a cap are returned to their cap and stay there and may undertake other interceptions, but not against that same unit. So this unit is now moving on and it comes into the range of the next cap. These units are done, but these interceptors may now intercept again on this one. Should the East German unit again survive this combat, it could move on. This one goes back here and is available for the next interception, but not against this air unit or stack if it would be a stack. The advantage of these advanced cap missions is really to have a longer range of action against when it would only intercept it from its home airbase somewhere behind this. The downside is it costs more supply points and they are lost even if there is no air combat happening. The big advantage is of course the quick reaction of these interceptors. 
During the end stage of a game turn, these cap mission markers are removed from the AO axis and the air units are placed back on their respective air bases or aircraft carriers.